The M-Series converter converts your Kaiser M3i data, such as Cadence, into a format used by most cycling training apps. To set up, you'll need an M-Series converter, an M3i bike, and a cycling training app. In this demo, I'll be using Peloton on an iOS device. Now to pair the converter with your bike, start cycling to turn on the bike display. Turn on the converter by closing the case and place it near the display to pair. Pay close attention to the flashing light. That's pair mode. Once the light stops flashing, pairing is complete. This is the one-time setup for Bluetooth pairing. You won't have to pair to the bike display again. Now let's pair the converter to the bike. Start cycling to turn on the bike display. Turn on the converter by closing the case and place it near the display to pair. Note the red light turns on and then off. Pairing mode is complete. Now, if you feel pairing was missed for any reason or to pair to a different M3i, simply reopen and close the converter to reset and restart the procedure. The converter will automatically enter pairing mode for 30 seconds. Now, before you connect to your app, check to make sure Bluetooth is on. Do not connect from your device's Bluetooth settings. You'll connect the converter directly within the Peloton app during warm-up. Note, you'll need to allow Peloton to use Bluetooth to connect, so be sure to hit OK when prompted. Now, let's launch the app, then create an account or log in. Select your workout, in our case, cycling, then select the class. As you cycle during warm-up, search and connect to the converter here in the Metrics tab. Now, Cadence is the supported profile here, so tap Cadence. Your converter will be identified as M3i, pound or number sign, followed by your M3i's number ID. Here, we've automatically connected. If it's not checked as connected, go ahead and tap to connect. Then tap outside the screen to return. You know you're connected by your current Cadence showing on screen and the green light flashing on the converter. The light remains flashing for the duration of your workout. Now, enjoy your ride. One thing to note, in addition to the Metrics tab, lower right-hand corner here in Portrait Mode, you can check all connected devices at the Connected Devices tab. Just tap the screen to reveal the tab. In both Portrait and Landscape Mode. At the end of your ride, to disconnect your converter, you would end and save as you normally would. Or just kill the app. The converter also disconnects when the bike display enters sleep mode. Note the flashing green light on the converter stops. This indicates a low power sleep mode ready for your next workout. At your next workout, simply reconnect your converter at the metrics tab and you're all set.